Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy, the show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors, and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Hello there and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the brand new Luminar Neo update marked 1.2.1. Now this update is focusing on a smoother experience in the app and we're going to look at it right now. So as you can see, we are in Luminar Neo and before we're going to start with the update, I want to remind you about our brand new Luminar Neo Masterclass. As you can see it here, it includes over 63 classes in 4K quality and over 5 hours of content. It's a lot of fun, you will get a project-based masterclass as well as a really nice HDR Merge mini course focusing on the latest HDR Merge plugin. Additionally, you will also get access to our All Sliders course to make sure that you have all the tools nicely explained if you want to go deeper in the knowledge. Now, once we have this out of the way, we can start with the update. So first of all, let's see how to find out what version of Luminar Neo you own. Now, to check your version of Luminar Neo, we need to navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on the Luminar Neo logo. After that, click on About Luminar Neo. This will open a new window where you can see your current version. As you can see, currently I am on version 1.2.0, so I know I need to download and install the new version. For this, we need to click on a little red cross and come back to our Luminar Neo logo. Click on it again and then choose Check for Updates. It will take a moment and it will let us know that the new version of Luminar Neo is available. Once you're ready, you can just click on Install Update. Now it's going to start to download the update and as you can see, it's over 4 GB big. So once it's downloaded, we're going to continue. Once the update is downloaded, it will be extracted and it will be ready to install. So all you need to do is to click on the button Install and Relaunch. So click on it and again, it will take a moment and when it's going to be finished, we will continue. Once the installation is finished, it will reopen Luminar Neo and you can start to use it. Just to double check that you're on the latest version, let's go back to our Luminar Neo logo while we are in a catalog module. Click on it and again click on About Luminar Neo. Now looking at our version now, again we can see that we have the new version 1.2.1. So this is out of the way, we have the latest version of Luminar Neo and it's time to look at the updates that are coming with this new version of Luminar Neo. Now, before we're going to look at the updates, I want to quickly remind you that our Luminar Neo Power Bundle now includes over 986 new elements to power up your favorite Luminar Neo tools. If you want to get it for a special price of $39, all you need to do is to follow the link in the description of this video. Now, as you can see, we are on the website of Skylum where we're going to be looking at the update. Now, if you want to check it out yourself, all you need to do is to head to skylum.com and go into the section what's new. Here, right on the top, you can see the list. So once again, Luminar Neo 1.2.1 is focusing on the enjoyment of smoother experience when it comes to photo editing. Now, in Luminar Neo update 1.2.1, Skylum fixed a number of bugs. So this update doesn't bring any new features. However, it's focusing on the things that needed to be fixed. So after this update, you should be able to use this app even more smoothly and without any special unexpected behaviors. It's important to mention that most of these bugs were fixed based on community feedback. Now let's start by looking at the mug bug fixes. So first of all, Luminar Neo now correctly displays the orientation of an image after sequential rotation. You can also apply a preset 
and see the complete functionality of the develop tool for RAW files. On the Mac OS Catalina, you can now use the brush masking without experiencing a crashes. In a single image view, smoothly use the classic mouse zoom, plus zooming using a magic mouse by holding down the option key. After multiple sync adjustment applications, click undo in the catalog view without a hitch. You can also undo without experiencing the crashes. When zooming in and out, a transparency frame will no longer suddenly appear on the edge of the image in the single image view. You can also now use the eyedropper tool at the edge of an image. Again, on Mac OS Catalina, you can now switch fast between masking brushes and collapse the tool you are using without the issues. You can also rotate an image without seeing an empty single image view display. Finally, you can switch from the edit tab and see the active undo button in the preset tab. Now moving on to Windows users, let's have a look at the bugs fixes here. You can now correctly display the orientation of an image after sequential rotation. You can also close Luminar Neo with the preset tab open and then launch it without experiencing crashes. You can search in the catalog and find all images including those from the single image edits folder. You can also use the eyedropper without disabling temperature, tint or color profile in the edits tab. After signing out, click apply when using Luminar Neo as a plugin without crashing. On the top of it, you can also smoothly add a folder with the photos imported from the Luminar shared to the catalog. Finally, remove the Sky AI tool from edits without a hitch. To finish it off, you can now easily access the photos scroll bar in the catalog tab. Now, depending if you have experienced any of these issues, this update is maybe more or less important for you. However, I think it's really important to see that Luminar and Skylum is doing their best to keep improving the performance of the application. So even though we don't have any features this time, I'm sure we're gonna have some new features coming our way really soon. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.